know that Obama portrait? Collector. You know why he knows about all these symbols and signs? Because he's the freaking artist that drew them. He gang stalks all of his subscribers, just like Stephen James Deshaun. They're two of a kind. They're both speaking lies at one table. They both don't have regard for women. Just when I think they're going to cancel it, then I get hit with a dose of forfeit. Get hit with a dose of 450, and when you hear another 450 mouth mouthpiece that confirms it for you, that no, 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 it's it's gonna happen. Some people make fun of the destruction before it happens. See, I could play their game too just completely beat around the bush and not say who it is but everybody knows who I'm talking about but there's only one person that I know of truly that's mocking the uh, King Ahab his 450 false prophets the ones that are trying to push fear these are the 450 false prophets they don't need to be people with Bibles in their hands They're just the ones that give false information. So they, they don't say direct names. They just beat around the bush. Fleck is a top gang stalker. One of the top gang stalkers in America right next to Stephen James and Sean. Because one of them is just playing the high profile. He has to, because a lot of people have to know who he is. So he has all of his people believing in him. So that's why, as a false prophet, top Luciferian gang stalker, you will, you'll get to know your um your uh, subs very well when you gang stalk them also Cowboys game the Eagles and Cowboys it's still in the mix maybe because John Clegg was wearing the star. He's the angel of the church of Philadelphia. He's going to destroy Philadelphia. A star is going to destroy Philadelphia. I heard that out of Steve's mouth a while back now that I remember. But when you're the sun simulator of the principality in the air when you're simulating both people you can um, you can make stars come from heaven you can make them fall from heaven watch that's something that's something that can't be canceled maybe the events possibly delayed at the Cancelled at the best, but delayed is a strong possibility. But the, the Bible prophecy that see it's not like any one event can be Bible prophecy for real. 
they're just playing it. They'll, well, Clack will probably show you in a Bible where it says Philadelphia, the William Penn, I mean, uh, Building 8, or the Comcast building is going to be destroyed in one hour. Maybe it is in there somewhere. Maybe I, I, I'll tell you what, I'll show it to you. That's right. When it does happen, I'll just go to whatever verse I feel like going to, and I'll just pick it out there and say that that's what told me. And, and I'll just switch, switch the word to something, like stretch the word out to a different meaning. So a star is supposed to destroy Philadelphia. Jonathan Clegg is supposed to destroy the angel of the church of Philadelphia. He's supposed to destroy Christ. The spirit in anybody that has it, he will gang stalk it out of you if he can. If you're actually one of his subs, and you know, I, you know, look, I, you know, I forget it. People can believe what they want. That's what they do anyway. I, I gotta learn how to just let people just be what they are. Let them be. See, some people say this. I've heard this before. Hey, Robin, why don't you just, why don't you just take a break? Just let it go. Like, <laughs> you're stressing yourself out too much. I can tell. So I upload a video every day of myself. 33 minutes. However long the phone goes. I'll upload the video. I could have just talked to myself instead of the phone. Like that is the here's what used to happen. I'm talking to myself right now and a phone. I am not consciously aware that a phone is recording me. Therefore, I'm just driving, talking to myself. Now, because um, because I've learned that I can drive and talk to people at the same time and get through to a bunch of people, I've learned that now I'm talking to people. I'm not really. I mean, I'm just still literally talking to myself. When it comes down to it, what am I doing? I'm talking to myself talking through a gadget, but nobody's here. So is it stressful? Let me ask you this question. If you have a long ride and you're going to, you talk to yourself anyway, I mean, um, for a half hour, right? Are you going to stress in that one half hour because a camera's in your face as you're talking? Are you going to be any different because you know a camera's in your face? Are you going to be the same that you are behind the camera when it's turned off, even though you know that it isn't? Or do you not know that it is, but are you still yourself either way? Is Jonathan Cleck the same person behind the scenes? I'm not talking about in person. Nope, nope, nope. Jonathan Clegg in person? Oh my goodness, he's the messiah. Oh man, the blue-eyed, handsome, handsome devil he is, I tell you. Jonathan Clegg, you're a handsome devil. You know, I got a better bald head than you do. That's why I don't cover mine up. I'm not ashamed of my bald head. How about you, thou art bald head? Why don't you go up and uh, take that cap off your head there and preach without it? Why don't you do that, Johnny? Huh? You don't like the clown do? Is that what it is? Oh, I see. Johnny Click behind the scenes. I mean, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes of the table that's streaming semen, he's a different person. And, you know, I'm sure Johnny has a really good heart. He's just an evil bastard, lying prick, son of a bitch, devil. That's all. 
but so what? I mean, it's like, don't we all have brothers or sisters or somebody that is that same way? Like, you son of a bitch. You just, but you love them because they're human beings. And what are you supposed to do? Not love people? Are you not gods? Haven't he told you that ye are all gods? Shouldn't you love everybody? Or at least try to. But not like that, not like perverted wise, not like behind the scenes or anything like that. But then again, if that's the way you go, it's the way you roll. It's go, go, go time then, I guess. You know, Sodom and go, go, Gomorrah. It's go, 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 Gomorrah time. A lot more events to take place here in Philly. They are not, they're, they might have prolonged some of them and canceled them, but not for long. I'm forgetting. I'm misinterpreting scripture. I, I just said it earlier with the video about um, Jonah because, because I listened to it again on the Bible reading it, just to see, you know, get a, get refreshed on it because I started feeling his pain for some reason because I'm not seeing these events take place. But see, I'm, I have a humor uh, demon that I have to fight off. We can tell that. AMTV, Christopher Green, he doesn't have a humor demon that he has to fight off. He has the lying demon spirit he needs to fight off, but not yet, you know, not yet. But they know where this event, like Christopher Green knows where the event's going to take place. Jonathan Clark knows. It's Philadelphia. Paul Begley knows. Stephen James knows. Uh, Stephen Ben Danoon, he knows. Everybody knows Paul Begley, World in Chaos. Yeah, you see, he knows. But AMTV, he doesn't have any humor in him. He tries, but it's, it's very weak because it's scripted, it's not real. How can you laugh at something that's just not real anymore? I mean, sometimes like actors, they're funny, but when they're trying not when they're trying not to act, they're trying not to read. They're trying not to show you that they're reading. They're trying not to show you that they're listening to themselves read in their own ear. When they have scripts written for them, and that's what they do, they can't be funny unless you can take a script and be funny. Some people can, but AMTV Christopher Green, you can't. So when you say some people, you know, are making, uh, what'd you say, humor jokes, so, making fun of something like that, making fun of the events, that's what he said, making fun of the events that are coming. So he knows the events are coming right here in Philly, and, um, and I am that person that's mocking it, yes, that's me. But he won't say my name, I'll say everybody's name. There's nothing to hide here. See, there's a faithful servant, he who endures to the end, and then there's wicked servants that till the land a lot longer at uh, Robbins T's uh, Tillers. Scott T's Tillers, because it's from Scotland. I'm not from Swiss. I've never, never heard that before. I don't, maybe it's connected, I don't know. If they are connected to my name and they've taken my my freaking uh, my home, I'm kicking them the fuck out. You guys are getting the fuck out. Richie knows it's coming to Pennsylvania invasion. Paul Begley coming to Pennsylvania. It's a, it's all about passing by. Uh, when Cleck passes by Hoover Dam, guess what's going to happen to Hoover Dam soon? Within by by October 18th, the water's going to come after us like a flood. October 18th through the 21st. Those events aren't going to be delayed. These events here, the shootings, yeah, yeah, they can be delayed, but not the not the Bible prophecy like I was saying. The Bible prophecy is not being delayed any longer. The events are. They can afford to not play a certain thing. When Cleck drove by the 
Phoenix, because the Phoenix is going to rise. When Click talked about Ohio, a shooting happened in Dayton, Ohio. When Michael Spears called Yoder Lumber, and it was, the name was uh, New Philadelphia. Philadelphia started getting some major news dominating shootings. When Click started talking about being the angel from the Church of Philadelphia, does it ring a bell? In Philadelphia, a church burnt down at 52nd and Lancaster Ave. Stephen James and Sean is 52 years old. We recognize Golan Heights in its 52nd year, and the Eagles won the Super Bowl the other year. Super Bowl number 52. Area 51 was stormed. Now it's turning into Area 52. Some rookie just hit his 53rd baseball uh, home run that they corked the ball with to make him a superstar because that's what the Illuminati does. They, tr they give him extra treatment. It's like a Jonathan Kleck. It's like a Stephen James Deshaun. They're in the family, so they get um, perks, and they're they're like they're given to you. Like that's cheating. Would you want to cheat? I guess people want to cheat to get ahead. But they, you know, it's a pitcher, another Illuminati pitcher that gets paid millions of dollars, facing an Illuminati batter that gets paid millions of dollars. They got to make it enter entertaining. It's entertainment. So you got to understand. The only thing is, is, like, why don't you guys just be real and just tell us that it's entertainment? Like, you're rigging the games. You're setting it up. You know when the, what the score is going to be. You're, you know how many home runs you got to get. Why don't you just tell us that and stop lying? Why don't you just tell us? Like, it's like we already know WWE and the F and wrestling. It's all scripted, just like Hollywood and the actors and the pretend beefs with rap rappers and uh these are all one together but you are just lying so why don't you just stop lying just just it's entertainment like it's entertaining it is but christopher green why don't you stop pretending that you're reading uh, that you're not reading what you already uh or you're not listening to whatever whatever you already read in your ear that you wrote down and then you put in your earpiece is what i'm trying to tell you why don't you stop doing that and um, and just let us know that that's what you're doing. Like, hey, uh, I have an earpiece, and I'm I'm gonna read. This is what I would do. Like, hey, what's up, everybody? I'm gonna um, I'm gonna read my uh, my notes that I put down yesterday because I just as I go, I just record it, and then you know eventually it gets like 33 minutes, and then I'll just play it back in my ears. So right now I'm listening to myself talk about what I'm talking about now because I'm explaining it to myself to you, and so that's why I'm gonna be like, oh, so. I can remember my script that I've already read uh, the script with to record it so I can put it in my earpiece so I can listen to it as I talk to you. Why don't you just stop being fake and just do that? Then I wouldn't be so disgusted. Like, Cleck, why don't you just tell us straight up that you are Lucifer in the flesh, that you believe, because I'm not saying it is. You're not. You represent Lucifer now. You don't represent Christ yet. You will. You will, Cleck. Everybody will. There's a reason why Stephen James Deshaun said that Satan deceives the not part of the world, not a portion of it, not certain people. He said the whole world is going to be deceived. If it's possible, you can deceive the very elect if it's possible. It's possible. It is. I've seen it with my own eyes. Man, was I deceived by what was going on and and uh not anymore. Not anymore. So why don't you just tell us that you think you're Lucifer in the flesh and you want you we're gonna worship you for the next three and a half years. Why don't you just say like, hey, Robin's Hood, I'm gonna do one last shout out to Robin's Hood, because you're going down, Robin. Is that star? That's me, by the way. The angel from Church Philadelphia. I am coming down. I'm going to rain down and I'm going to pummel 
17th Street, after 17 years of me being beat, battered, and bruised, and writing all the, drawing all the imagery on everybody's clothes, the new clothes images, because that's my gift. And I'm the one that wrote, uh, I drew the, um, the portrait behind um, Obama, because I'm the one that drew the snake, because I'm that little snake behind it. Hey, Amen. Hey, how much, how much money do you guys want to give me for knowing that Jonathan Click is the drawler of the Obama portrait that he's sitting behind him? All right. How much do I get for knowing that information? How'd I know that, huh? Hey, Steve, how did I know that? Do you want to tell them? Do you want to tell them how I knew, Steve? Oh, man. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. Hey, Cleck. Hey, Cleck. How did I know that it was you? How did I know? Do you listen to everybody? Oh, it's Satan's eyes can see through everybody. It's not gang stalking like some people call it gang stalking. No, Cleck. No. Not at all. It's not gang stalking. It's just observing through other people's eyes because they are watching everybody and everything. And when you have surveillance everywhere, you get to see what everybody's doing. So no, you're not Satan. You're not. You're not Christ. You're just an antichrist that needs to go. You know, and repent. And then come back and... Look, you and Michael are welcome. Look, straight up. You and Michael are welcome to my house when they build it. When you guys build my house for knowing what you guys are doing and who everybody is and what you are all responsible for behind the scenes, you guys are all welcome. All right? Everybody gave me a problem. Look, I can you imagine? I'm, I have already... It's already... I'm a filthy dreamer, so I've already dreamt it up. You can dream this stuff up. And you can make this stuff up. Because if you create your own future, you make it up. You can think this stuff up off the top of your head. You don't need people telling you anything. And you can think this thing up and create it. So when I create my own future by knowing what the future is that you guys are trying to play out in the world, and it ain't going to happen. I mean, everybody in Philadelphia is going to know that they're going to know. The angel of the Church of Philadelphia... Everybody in Philadelphia, that's when you'll know. There won't be a doubt whatsoever. But until then, Cleck can have it. Fine. Fine, Cleck. Take it. Take the star. Take the Cowboys. Cowboys Eagles game. Take that. You know, you can you can blow that up, right? That would that that would be good, right? Because you have that star, you are the angel of the Church of Philadelphia. Everything you talk about after you're done talking about it, it just goes to shit, right? So, but the thing is, that's all scripted. When I go by Philadelphia, oh my goodness, I got recordings of the buildings that I think is going to get hit by the script that you guys wrote. So I got footage beforehand. It's going to be so interesting when that happens, man. Because you're going to think, well, so what? He, look, he'll only tell a few people in Philly. Whatever. Who cares? They're all going to die anyway. You know? They're just going to all turn against each other because that's what we believe because we're stupid. We don't believe that human uh, natural instincts will kick in and you're going to want to help the next person. And you're going to see how people are not greedy and they're not selfish. And when they put down these fucking gadgets that it's distracting everybody and they don't give a shit about people, when you put that down and you uh, start to like talk to people, you might get to realize that, hey, you're not so bad after all, neighbor. You know, you got kind of, you got on my nerves before because I didn't really know you. I was just being a prick judging you because I'm, I'm warring in my own head with my own demons. So, but actually talking to you, hey, you're a pretty cool guy, man. I, I didn't even think that. And it's like, then you go talk to your biggest enemy. And it's like, hey, man, you, know, you got some cool, you know, uh, Things about you, you know, that, that I didn't know before, but maybe I should stop judging people and being such a prick, huh? How about that? Maybe we should start to stop doing 
the other thing, which is judging people. And, uh, and, and just, you know, talk to people and help them out. Feels good, too. It's amazing how that works. When you put in those works, it's usually because of the grace from God that was already given to you that those works come out of you naturally because of the heart of God that you have. So, look, fine. Um, take the victory, Cleck. 17 years of being abused. I know, John F. Kennedy, JFK. You're going to be assassinated too, just like John F. Kennedy was, but not really, just like John F. Kennedy was. Same thing will happen, but you'll rise back up after your head's wounded. This is going to be the greatest show, man. You're, you are a superstar in the world. The world's going to know you, Cleck. They're going to... They're going to you're going to rise up. All of YouTube is going to know Jonathan Kleck is the angel of the church of Philadelphia. He is Jesus Asu Hamalak Shamalak in the freaking flesh. They're going to know that. <clears throat> and you get three and a half days of that. And then um, that rug gets pulled out from under your feet. Remember. And Steve. I'm just going to... I'm going to... I'm going to create my own future, and I'm going to tell you that Steve has already turned. He's still Luciferian. He's still going to, you know, look. Whatever, you know. You're going to do what you want to do. But at the same time, you already know what your decision is when Cleck gets his little victory there. Because you're, you're the dingleberry, right? You're the least among Judah, even though you were already promised. Even though you already know that you're not, but um, Lucifer over there, right? He He's going to um, take that spot because he's the king. Like, he's the king. He's not saying, well, he kind of is king, king. He's not saying it like you. He's not using gematria to, to for forcify, falsify the rest of it. But... He is um, acting like a king of kings. So it's only fitting that he gets the crown. October 18th is when he rises up or dies. The 15th, one or the other. I think the 15th is the rapture. It's the alien invasion. It's, it's And then he, he wins on October 21st. But that's, but Steve has 20 days from yesterday. He got until the... He wins 2024. 20, his timing is when he pulls the rug from under the click... 20, 21, 22, 23, 20, 24. You know, when the sun reappears, when they turn off all the electricity in the sky on October 24th at um, midnight, when it's really noon, when they turn off the technology, the real peace deal, October 24th, 2019, after the 153 uh, days, and then there's three days, after the, the waters have been abated, I, that's when, the, well, that's when that rug gets pulled, the veil gets pulled, the sun simulator gets taken out, Jonathan Kleck gets taken out, the other sun, sun simulator that turned into the sun, the real sun, like went from the sun simulator to the to the sun, representing uh, Christ after the fact of what he did to to change the world by taking the sun simulator out. I'm just realizing now that Kleck is, is really um, Stephen James Deshaun's face, like to show them, like that's what Stephen is. That's why he's taking it from Kleck. Kleck doesn't know that. He doesn't know that. Steve does. That's the whole prank. That's why Kleck is the, gonna be the most broken heart person in America. He's going from top um, yeah, I like Plankton. He he gets the formula for three and a half days, three and a half seconds, really, and then Plankton's like, <clears throat> with his one eye and his AI wife, because he can't get a woman because he he's not interested in women. He does he's not he he's uh he has no regard for women. So that's that's why Clek is gonna reign and rule. The sun simulator, that's why this sun simulator here, when it goes dark, so I guess I guess it would go dark on the 21st, right? The end of the world, October 21st. 
it goes dark and then um, at noon, noonday, because because apparently it's really midnight when it's noon because it's a simulator here. That's why when you turn things upside down, click, you know, you, you uh, get rid of the um, simulator, pull the veil from out from underneath your feet, and um, and then the sky opens up, and then here comes New Jerusalem. Like, oh, that's our original sky. Awesome. Hey, we're in New Jerusalem now because everything's the same as it was. There's nothing new under the sun. It's just they covered it up. Just like they try to cover up our third eye with. I, it doesn't work, you know. I, whatever you've tried, it doesn't work. Cal, uh, fluoride. Fluoride. Floored your eye. Let's floor their eye with this compound that co covers it so they can't think to God. And then let's cover the skies. That way God can't see down there. Like, guys, are you down there? Yeah, we're here. Can you see us? No, not really. I can only see Jonathan Clack. That's fine. I'm, I'm patient. I can wait. Oh, man, when that 9-11 happens... There's some sheep going to get fed. How are you going to feed your sheep? In person? In person with, hey, uh, well, look, here we are. It happened. All right, you want to know what's going to happen next? I don't even have to say it. All I was going to do is be like, hey, see what happened? That's it. I, I don't even have to say another word. Like, what a coincidence, huh? And then walk away. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, hold on. Wait, you, where, how did you know? How did you know that? Where, where, how, how, you didn't explain how you figured that one out in the video. You just said it's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I figured it out. I guess I figured it out. coming right here in Philadelphia right here Cleck likes to um, dress and drag he doesn't want to he he loves to drag things out <laughs> like I said you and Michael you're welcome to my house we can laugh at this stuff later on you can watch the videos of me clowning you you know when you got when you got play look I told you right when it happens, you can be like, Robin, how did you know that was going to happen to me? 